Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Taurus. Okay. So the Six of Wands here, I feel like right now you are about to experience a lot of rewards, recognition. And just before I get started, you guys, I know I don't sound that good, but please try to <laughs> please try to look beyond um, just my voice and pay closer attention to the actual message. The Six of Wands, though, victory, success, rewards, and recognition. I feel that a lot of people have been working extremely hard to manifest certain things in their life, in their reality, and I did a reading not long ago where I was speaking about the spiritual, um, you giving out like spiritual restraining orders. There's a need for you to really protect your peace, to protect your peace and your, your energy to stay in that state of Zen. Okay. Um, for myself, I have not had internet. I have not been online. I haven't really been watching tarot. I have not watched, um, any TV or anything. And like the last week, I really just took time to rest and rejuvenate. And my spiritual eyes are already seeing things totally differently. So just be mindful always of what you're taking in, what you are consuming. You know, and I, I talk about this, what you're eating, what you're drinking, what you're watching, what you're listening to. And also who you are getting your information from. A lot of us, our divine channels are being cleansed out. Your frequency, just everything about you is shifting and changing at a very rapid rate. Um, and so you're going to notice that there's a lot of things that you're going to start to unplug from, and you don't need to be afraid of that. Don't be afraid to, you know, take a step back because you're not going to really resonate with certain people, places, things, or situations. We are moving into, of course, like the lunar new year. I talk about that all the time. Spring is approaching. So right now you may be feeling that need to really, really just clean house. Um, so the death card and the page of cups came out here. Mm. here's a king of pentacles the page of pentacles you may have to be very discerning right now some of you have more than one ma oh yes some of you could have more than one masculine in your energy spirit is telling me right now that some of you you have a like a past person you have someone currently in your life but i'm also getting that for some of you you're also connected with like a a pass on love, one, a spirit guide, an angel, an ancestor. There's a lot of masculine energy. Um, it's only a matter of time before we will be approaching Aries season. Um, we still have Pisces season and then Aries, but right now there's just a lot happening, a major shift in the divine masculine collective. Um, and this could have a lot to do with, of course, like for so long, Mars was in retrograde and it's direct so i just think that there's a lot of really masculine energy coming out so you may be sensing a little bit of tension but you're also going to see that people are going to be extremely action oriented as well and it doesn't matter if you're male or female this is just masculine energy people are stepping into that mode of you know being very ambitious being very assertive wanting to get things done and and taking charge some of you though you may have um, two masculines in your energy here. Okay. I see the king of pentacles, the king of cups, the high priestess is here and the page of pentacles. I do feel like you have a person here who has breadcrumbed you for sure. Okay. But behind this is the emperor. There's someone that is watching over you and guiding you. Someone, um, like a spirit guide, an angel, an ancestor, like I said, they know that you are a good mate for someone that's in your energy, but you're going to have to be very discerning of who this is. I do feel like this is a divinely guided connection here that many people are going into if that's what you're interested in. It doesn't have to be romantic. This could be a business partnership for some of you. It could be a friend who is just, you know, for sure a soulmate or whatever it is, but you do have to be discerning. Someone here. What I'm getting is you have a person here that you may have a lot of love for. This person has breadcrumbed you. I feel like their offers with the Page of Cups have been very small. Um, and you may find yourself feeling as if you're going to be more victorious in life if you allow this situation to end. Some of you, it's going to be you're ending this situation so that it can transform. Some of you, you're ending it so that you can have a brand new beginning. And then you have this king of pentacles. So the pentacles versus the cups. The pentacles is probably something that's a bit more tangible. It's more common. It's more practical in my opinion. It doesn't necessarily, um, it's not as appeasing or appealing to your emotions as the king of cups. 
But I feel like with the King of Pentacles, perhaps there is less manipulation. Emotional and energetic manipulation as with the King of Cups. The King of Cups is coming out. And it's very interesting to me how these cards are coming out now that I look at them. You have the Page of Cups and the King of Cups with the High Priestess in the middle. And then you have the side of the Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So it's like you have two different masculines here who are both undergoing some type of spiritual awakening. This is going to be, yeah. And they're both, I feel, fighting for an opportunity to be the emperor in your life. Wow. So there's a major trans spiritual transformation happening here with the death card. You're going through some type of rebirth, but so are these masculines who are tapping into your energy as well. But with the high priestess, you're here in the middle and you have to be very discerning because both it's it's interesting because you may meet someone or you have someone in your life they're offering you a like a page of pentacles but it can grow you have someone in your life who perhaps was a king at some point but you're seeing them as a page because of how they treated you in the past so you're not really certain right now which direction you should go in a lot of you you know which way you want to go but it's for sure the, the queen of pentacles is here with the three of cups. So it looks like you're going towards something, in my opinion, the king and queen of pentacles, something that's going to be more long term, that offers you more stability, more security, where you can actually build and grow together. Someone here also, for those of you who are in childbearing age, somebody wants to have a child with you. They want the two of you to become three. This is something that is a part of some type of spiritual contract that you and this person have especially with the two pages here you want someone you may be destined to have um a child or or two together and it doesn't matter if you already have children or not this person they're a part of the same soul family same soul tribe or something as you this to me looks like it's a past life connection but i do feel that you have been emotionally tied to a, another person this is posing a lot of confusion because it's sort of like that are you leaving a twin flame for a soulmate or a soulmate for a twin flame this to me feels more like a just a divine flame i don't know what you want to call this a twin flame or a soulmate but it's someone here who's just a divine counterpart it's it's a good match it's a life partner they're they're an energetic vibrational match for you wow the chariot and the emperor there's somebody who is coming in for you they're coming back or they're coming in someone is about to take charge the chariot is moving past all obstacles challenges any type of adversity here the moon card there was something that has been hidden here maybe someone has been hiding their feelings but i just saw the knight of swords someone is rushing in very very soon to communicate how they feel the problem though is that for some of you you're going to have more than one person that's going to rush in and tell you how they feel this is because of this ascension here this elevation as the high priestess you're right in the middle of a lot of different masculines so you have your karmic masculines you have the divine ones you have the past you have the present and you have those that may approach you in the future but if you look at this card the high priest is like you're, like i said before the divine channel it's wide open so it's bringing in everything and everyone so you're going to find the good bad the evil and the ugly so you have to be very discerning but this emperor there is for sure an emperor here strength card leo energy leo aries energy we do have the full moon in leo right now hmm. let's see some of you speaking of like because everyone doesn't have children but as i mentioned before kind of going into the lunar new year you're nesting right now meaning it's time for you to start preparing for this emperor look at that the knight of cups and justice, yeah. It's time to make a decision. Ooh, love is coming in for somebody. Knight of Cups, the Four of Swords, rest, retreat, rejuvenate, heal. Nine of Cups here, focus on self-love, healing, justice here. There's a decision being made here about an equal give and take in some type of soulmate, twin flame connection here. But there, the lover speaks of a choice. 
There's a lot that's going to be happening when it comes to communication. Libra and, and um, Gemini energy out here. There's going to be a lot of back and forth communication between you and someone. I also feel if this is someone new in your life, for some of you, you're being asked to walk by faith and not by sight. If there's someone new either in your life now or about to enter your life, how you and this person communicate, there's going to be challenges. Six of Pentacles here. I, I don't know why. I feel like there's challenges because of the shift that's happening with the divine masculine. Some of you are going to find people and they're going to come off almost aggressive because of their assertiveness. There's a lot of masculine energy here. And they're very clear about, yes, <laughs> I told you. They're very clear about collaborating with an empress. This is someone that's coming there like, I know I know it's you. I know what I want. I know what we're supposed to do. I know what we're supposed to have. And Spirit said, you're just going to have to walk by faith and not by sight. But as the high priestess, you have to be discerning about this journey that you're taking. There is something here that you're walking away from, but you're walking right into something where you are protected. Something that is for your higher self, your greatest and highest good. Lots of new wisdom, discernment, new information, sacred wisdom and knowledge that you're tapping into. I, I feel for a lot of you, this connection is sort of forcing you to tap in because you're about to raise. Or, or, or rise up to the vibration of this this love, this God consciousness. And, and love is required for that. A lot of you have been holding back the four of pentacles. You hold back how you feel. You hold back how you think. You hold back what you say. Or there's a masculine here that you're holding back all of your thoughts, feelings, and emotions for. For some of you, this is a masculine from your past. They could be from a past life. You're kind of over this situation. The truth is, for some of you, you're over a situation from your past, but it is destined for you to start over with this person to move forward. There's some type of elevation. Just heard an evolution of the soul that has happened. So there, there's two souls here that have both evolved. Again, for some of you, this could be someone new. This could be someone old. You manifested this though. You manifested this person coming in. Three of Wands, King of Wands, yeah. This is this is like beautiful energy to me because honestly, what I'm saying is for some of you, you could choose a new person, but I feel like it's gonna really make your heart sing. It's gonna make you very happy to, to know that although you could not make it work with someone, they are still going to grow and ascend. And see, this is where it gets very difficult, where you have to accept sometimes that a person, they're only going to be a lesson and not a, a lifetime. For some of you, you do have an opportunity to reconnect and be with someone from the past if you choose to. But even if you don't, you will be a lesson to them. They'll be a lesson to you. But whoever this person is from the past, they have grown, they have changed in some way, they are ascending. If if it is, in fact, a, a twin flame or soulmate of yours, the two of you are evolving at a very rapid rate. You're healing the things that kept you apart. Now you just have to decide, do you want to come together in an actual physical union? Because for some of you, there is someone new that is in your energy or about to come into your energy. Both of these situations seem good. Honestly, someone here is moving slowly and coming towards you to drop all of their baggage. And it's to be honest, it seems like you have two different people in your energy and these two people are mirroring each other. They're mirroring each other, even how the cards are laid out. Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Page of Cups, King of Cups. But the high priest is right here. And I put this card above because it's like you're reigning supreme. The queen of cups has not come out. The queen of pentacles came out with the king of pentacles. 
And then here you have the three of wands, the king of wands. For some of you, you you're going to have a third masculine to enter your energy. You may have someone that's in your life now or in an ex. You may have another person that enters your energy all of a sudden. Wow. I'm seeing a lot of options. A lot of divine masculines are are out. If I'm not mistaken, this is the hunter's move. They're hunting for a divine feminine. And a lot of people will resonate with feeling as though you are being targeted by a lot of masculines. But to me, in this reading, there's nothing negative here. Not a single negative card. Not one. Again, though, some people's frequency is changing. Some people are going to pick up on the shadow aspects of all these masculines that are coming towards you. That's not what I'm picking up on, though. These are masculines who are doing the work. The old ones and the new ones. These are masculines who are dropping their baggage to be able to come towards you with equal give and take the two of cups. Yeah, after a period of being left out in the cold, five of pentacles and the five of cups is out here. Feeling like something was just a missed opportunity. Something is being balanced out here. It's like someone is finally getting their wings. This masculine is. They're finally seeing who you are. They've all, it's like they've known, but they, they're, you can say now they're doing the work. This is good. Queen of Swords. Some of you, you're still closed off to this. Whatever this is, whether it's old love coming back or new love, you're still a bit closed off because there's still something here that brings some type of conflict. What I'm actually getting, though, is that this Queen of Swords here, this Five of Swords, Two of Pentacles, some of you are just very afraid of any type of juggling or instability you could have definitely dealt with that in the past with someone and especially if that person is returning to your life you're very hesitant to go through this again and spirit is saying right now you may want to look on the bright side and try to liberate yourself because someone here they are evolving they are growing they are changing they have changed this queen of swords is just like, I'm like, no, I see this as an issue here. The five of wands also speaks of there's competition. Ace of cups, yeah. Ooh. Ace of cups, ten of cups, ace of wands. Here's the ace of pentacles. What is happening? This is why I had to do a reading, even though I sound like this. I was like, something is going on. Ace of pentacles and the wheel of fortune. You have three aces here and the ten of cups. There's some very heavy synchronicities here. And then look here, the King of Swords, which will go with the Queen of Swords. And remember before I told you guys, I said, there's two different masculines here in your energy. But then there's another one coming. <laughs> I feel like this King of Wands is this King of Swords who's your match. Wow. Wow. Some of you are <laughs> some of you are about to walk away from everything that you know and you're going in a totally different direction. It's like the minute that you set your eyes on something that causes any type of drama, instability, the minute somebody shows signs that they're juggling or that they're not willing or ready to build a life with you, you're just cutting it out. And I feel like being in that energy it's about to allow you to manifest exactly what you want this is all new but you notice how it's three aces here the ten of cups it's time for you the wheel is here with the ten of cups it's time for you to have this happiness for some of you this family life but you have the ace of cups the ace of wands and the ace of pentacles we have the king of pentacles we have the king of cups and we have the king of wands there's several people in your energy and they all offer something different you have to choose who you would like to be with. 
The Queen of Swords is out with the King of Swords. The only person who has not come out here is the Queen of Cups. I have the King and Queen of Pentacles. I have the King and Queen of Swords. And I have a King of Cups and a King of Wands. There's no Queen of Wands out here or a Queen of Cups. So that tells me that right now, the collective, you're going towards what seems logical and practical. You're not going towards what's so fiery and passionate, King of Wands or King of Cups, something that only appeals to your emotions. No, you're going towards something now that is, is cut and dry, it's fair, it's just. King of Pentacles, it's tangible. This is mom and dad, this is business owners. King and Queen of Swords, you and this person, you can you can communicate. This is practical. This is someone who is logical. They're analytical. I like the energy of the King and Queen of Swords and Pentacles because these are people who think and they plan out life. The King of Cups is someone who can at times be emotionally unavailable emotionally immature emotionally erratic um they can be emotionally intelligent but the king of swords is emotionally intelligent the king of cups sometimes can charm and manipulate you with their emotions and i feel many of you now you've become very discerning because you've dealt with that charming type of character before the King of Pentacles is someone who brings about a lot of stability and security. Many of you have also been with a person who brought a lot of security and stability. And of course, the King of Wands, the passion. But King and Queen of Pentacles, this is not only spiritually based. This is, like I said, it's tangible. You can, the, the Pentacles, you can see it, you can touch it, you can build it. You can, you know... It, it's it's 30. You can see what the king and pentacles are producing together. And the king and queen of swords, they put their heads together. Although even when their backs may be slightly turned to one another, the way that they think about life, they understand that there's going to be ups and downs. That there's going to be death, rebirth, and transformation in order to have victory and success, rewards and recognition together. This energy is rushing in towards you. The Knight of Swords. Yeah. Ace of Swords. So it looks like for some of you, there could for sure be an air sign coming towards you. Or this is just the air sign energy that we're in right now being an Aquarius season. I think a lot of you are, are um because when I think of Aquarius, I think of people who are very forward thinking. It's also still that Aquarius energy of being detached. Like I said, you're not only thinking with your heart. You're not only thinking with, you know, from a place of passion. You're not only thinking about money. You're thinking about the, the, the bigger picture of everything. Every sign, every symbol, every synchronicity, every download, everything has to make sense and add up now for you to move forward with somebody. And so you're going to have many people, they only appeal to certain things that you want. This is when you're in the energy of you're looking for the one. They have everything that you need. This is you no longer settling because before the queen of swords, she was looking right at this five of wands. The five of wands to me always think like there's a stand up guy here. A lot of people on this journey, they get distracted. A lot of you, you've encountered feminines or masculines. They've gotten distracted, but there, there is one who is going to actually touch that flame. And that for many of you could be this king of wands. King of Swords person. He's touching the flame. That means that throughout the challenges and the adversity, that the soul of this person has evolved. They can touch this flame. Meaning when they touch this flame, they can set, they can light you up. Ooh. And it's very interesting how today too, 
I just noticed how I have these two little owls out here because I'm just moving some things around and um, <laughs> one is silver, one is gold. But it's just like two birds, two love birds. And blue is peace. Blue is also communication. That, that to me is very symbolic here because all of these are blue. This is a lot of air energy. You guys are thinking your crown chakras on fire, but you're you're thinking logically. It's you know, and, and high priestesses how can can get to a point of being of floating. And again, I can't help but notice how the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups have not come out. You're not thinking because something feels good in the moment. Or it's only emotionally satisfying. No. You have enough wisdom now as a high priestess to understand. You got to look at the bigger picture of everything here. And I feel like you have a person that's coming in. This is someone they take action. After they've thought about things. So this is the kind of person that when they come towards you, they will only come to you if they've actually made up their mind about you. So that gives you that grounded, stable type of connection because you know if this person chooses you, you're exactly what they want. Wow. Oh my God. I just noticed King of Swords. You see the owl here? Wow. <laughs> that is such, that is so like, Symbolic. I just said that. There's an owl here. And the king of wands here, there's a lion. We have the Leo full moon right now. So something is shifting with this energy. You could have someone coming towards you that has fire and air very um, prominent in their chart. They could be a fire sign. They could be any sign. But they definitely, I feel, have air and fire in their chart. This person... What I'm getting, because I'm seeing this person energetically, this person is the type, they just, like, they're a trailblazer. They kind of do their own thing. They could have a business, be an entrepreneur, or, like, they, they kind of have, like, this hustler spirit. I will be honest, this is the kind of person who can kind of get stuck in analysis paralysis because they're a king of swords. This is someone who has a lot of information. They're naturally just very, very wise. But I feel like it's something about the feminine that's going to make this person a bit more action oriented. Actually, this person finds themselves very inspired by the feminine. So this person who kind of meditates and contemplates and researches and develops things. This inner something is triggering this person to want to take action. And I feel like it's because it's this feminine. Look at that. <laughs> the strength in the Queen of Wands. I just said it's this person. There's unions happening here. Now that we have the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands, the Queen and King of Pentacles, the Queen and King of Swords. With the strength card here. This is a very, very, very strong connection. And this is happening with this full moon and Leo energy. This the the type of loyalty that these two individuals will have. So more like Leo energy with the sun being here, page of wands, more fire, seven of cups. Like I said, this person they're choosing you. That's it. Excuse me. Even if it's just energetically, right now, some of you maybe you you haven't met this person, but energetically they've chosen you. It's a very, very strong, undeniable, unbreakable spiritual bond here. It's like to infinity and beyond. It's you and this person. This definitely could be like a past life soulmate. You're reconnecting with them here in the physical. But for some of you, this person, they've been in your life, but you you had your your soul or their soul had not evolved enough. For you to recognize who they actually are to you. Hmm. 
this is the kind of love though that's gonna set you free. You and this person, you're inspiring to each other. And this car, she's like half human, half lion, half woman, half lion. This person brings something out of you that makes you feel very free and liberated. And I think you do the same thing for this person. So before I was saying this person, King of Swords, they're very analytical, but sometimes they get stuck in analyzing things. I think that the passion that you have about certain things, it helps this person not be as confused. When you're more rigid, like the Queen of Swords, this person helps you to be a bit more free and liberated. It's like yin and yang energy. Whatever one of you lacks, the other one can pick it up easily. A lot of you, this really is like a, like a divine flame. I mean, you could say like twin flame, but this person, the two of you are opposites, but you complement one another like perfectly. You are different though. This is very, very, like, intriguing to me. The devil card has not come out. The magician card has not come out. Um, the three of swords. Like, no energy has come out here that will be negative. There's no manipulation. There's no toxicity. There's no obsession. There's no codependency. These are true divine couples. And actually, thank you, Spirit. With the King and Queen of Pentacles, the King and Queen of Wands, and the King and Queen of Swords being here, these are different groups of divine counterparts coming together. Everyone is at a different place in their journey. But as I said before, the evolution of the soul, depending on where you are energetically, is where you will land here. The Queen of Cups didn't come out. The high priestess usually is represented, though, by, like, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So maybe that water energy that will go with the King of Cups could be here as the high priestess. But I feel that because of the spiritual warfare that we've been in, where it's really, like, it's not just light versus dark. It's really a battle between, like, empaths and narcissists, if, you've, if you haven't noticed. I feel like spirit is saying, take your emotions out of things because I feel like some people's emotions, their sympathy and empathy from people for people has gotten them stuck in the toxic situations. Now that people are practicing the law of detachment and no longer so focused on how a situation makes them feel, but instead they're looking at the bigger picture of what they can build with a person. That's the reason why we're seeing this change mm. it looks good i mean it looks really good anything else the fool take a leap of faith why because you've awakened the tower the hermit and there she is the queen of cups with the hierophant Wow. I was not going to do this reading, but whenever spirit is like, do it, do it, do it, I see why. The fool taking a leap of faith, the hangman is an awakening. Seeing things from a totally different perspective. The tower, divine intervention, also an epiphany or a revelation here. Tapping in the hermit, healing inner child issues. But going within, seeking some type of wisdom. Someone here, you could be fasting or praying. For sure, surrendering to God. Surrendering to the will and the way of God. There's a masculine here. He's getting downloads that he, he just cannot deny about him moving forward. A lot of masculines are moving away from heartbreak 
or feeling very, very afraid to take a leap of faith and go towards love. A lot of you, you've been waiting on a masculine and what you didn't realize is that it wasn't that this mask was just... <laughs> This mask for some of you, you've had masculines and you waited on them. It was because that they they've had and hidden such deep trauma and pain from childhood and previous relationships. But now they're they're receiving messages from the Most High. They're receiving messages from their spiritual team that's telling them that they have to surrender. And this is the mirroring effect. Both of you are surrendering. This masculine is surrendering to God and you're surrendering now to this masculine in a way because I feel that a lot of the feminines have already surrendered to God, obviously, because you're the high priestess. So you're coming out of this mental entrapment here, the eight of swords, and going into the nine of wands where you're more optimistic about life and about love. And as far as being single, self-sufficient and abundant, you will continue to be self-sufficient and abundant. But I think that a lot of people, your single days are ending Ten of Swords. Because someone, Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, they're watching you and they've chosen you as the person that they will build their life with. So this is about healing and building. Not just feeling, which to heal you have to be willing to feel. There's masculines now who are finally realizing that they have to feel the pain of whatever they went through. See, some masculine, especially men, I don't think a lot of women understand how fragile men truly are. For a man to give everything to a woman and be deceived and hurt, it leaves them far more broken than a woman. So you have some men who over a decade ago, 10 plus years ago, they got hurt by who they thought at that point was the love of their life and they never recovered. Something is shifting now where their soul is evolving, they're recovering and they're coming out and they're saying, oh, I want love now because without love, You know, I just realized the emperor isn't out here, I don't think. Without love, they can't be the emperor. The emperor's out here somewhere. I forgot where he is, but... But without love, true love, they can't have an empress. And without an empress, you'll never be an emperor. Not a true emperor. Because the empress, who holds the keys to everything... You must have the the fertility of the empress to have a legacy. So you can you you can run around and play and and lay men, but without the empress, there is nothing tangible to be left. This is legacy building. There's. <laughs> There's nothing there. It's all very frivolous. That's why the emotions are being removed. Men even now are waking up and, and they're not thinking only about passion and emotions. They're being logical. They're analyzing the situation. The queen of swords is, is usually a high achiever, very smart, intelligent, logical. These masculines are now realizing that they need to stop running from that type of feminine Instead, they should embrace that type of challenge because it is that type of challenge from that type of feminine that will allow their soul to evolve so that they can be an emperor and have the Ten of Pentacles. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. Let me know how this resonates in the comments, please. I just wonder if everybody experiencing this shift. I want to use these cards. I've never used them before. So at the bottom of the deck is a strength card. Leo energy. It says you are hereby declared a strong, resilient warrior 
of heroic proportions. Enjoy your battles, whatever they are, because you're guaranteed to come through them stronger, brighter, and more compassionate. It says, and based on what I know of mythology, probably with great hair and a six pack. <laughs> That's cool. So yeah, everything that you've been through, it was to build you up for this. You've gone through the fire to learn how to have like this legacy mindset, this God consciousness. Your soul is evolving. And obviously, if your soul is tethered to the soul of someone else's, you have to know if, if you're evolving, so are they. Everyone has free will. But for some of you, you're definitely, you, you're, you're being opened up to more like-minded people. Be discerning because everyone wants the, a taste of the light. But there's definitely people coming towards you who they're a good match. Let's get some of these little love cards. <laughs> I'm so sorry about my voice, you guys. Um, at the bottom here, we have mirrored souls. This card signifies that you have met your spiritual other half. This is also confirmation of balanced masculine and feminine energy within oneself. Mm. Now, this is undeniable. King and Queen of Swords, King and Queen of Pentacles. King and Queen of Cups are out here with the High Priestess. For those of you who are more spiritual, with the King of Cups being right underneath the High Priestess, the empaths, the, the spiritualists, the High Priest, the, the Hierophants, your connections, I feel, are a little bit different. I'll be honest because I feel like those are the true like twin flames your connection has probably been a little bit harder to it's been harder for you to resolve the disharmony because your your mission is so great therefore your battles have been huge okay so you may the high priestess here the feminine your masculine could be just a little bit behind you when it comes to evolution. It's like they're right on your heels. They're growing. They're evolving. But unlike the king and queen of swords, it's like these to me, probably more soulmates. It's high priestess and it's like king of cups. But then here we have the queen of cups that came out with the hierophant. You see how we, I had a lot of emphasis during this reading on the king and queen. But you, I want you to just see how things are mirroring here. The high priestess and the king of cups. The hierophant and the queen of cups. It's a pair. The hierophant and the high priestess. The queen and king of cups. So for some of you, you, you felt like something here most likely was over. Or it wasn't going to come together or... You weren't going to reconcile or reunite or go into union with someone from your past. If you want someone from your past. For some of you, it's not necessarily that you want someone from your past. But you do want your actual counterpart. And you may have been worried that you would not meet that person this lifetime. This is saying that you will. For some of you... I'm, I'm seeing social media in my mind's eye. Some of you, you probably have gone through many cycles of being single. Nine of Pentacles, single. You dealt with a lot of deception and betrayal, friends, family, and lovers. And you've seen other people couple up, marry or whatever. And you may have been wondering, well, when is it going to be your time? Your path was different. It has taken you longer to get to your person to either come back together with them or to meet them because you're a high priestess. What you see, you feel, you hear, you know, it goes a little bit further beyond the average person. What you are required to do, 
you just have to carry a, a heavier load. So, of course, it's taking you longer because you, you had more baggage to drop off than the average person. It's also a little different for some of you who are who you know that you have a twin flame because even when you were moving ahead and they chose not to you're still connected to them and you sort of had to not wait on them but you perhaps have had to do extra healing work to ensure that their soul evolved enough for them to connect with you so for a lot of the feminists, you've been pulling the weight for your masculine, and now they're strong enough to come in with this, this passion, this assertiveness. They have this strength now. I told you guys a few months ago, start praying for your person. I know they can really get on your nerves, but pray for them because it's, it's the strength that you have that's being poured into those prayers and the strength of your connection with God that is now allowing them to make it when you really thought that it, there was no chance for some of you and for some of you this could be a brand new person it doesn't have to be someone that you've been with soul ties you have a bond with somebody that your, your soul is tied together This is not, man, this, this is where people are really starting to see the real twin flames. And to me, there, there's no, no one is better than anybody else, you know, with these classifications. But some people have been thinking that a particular person was their counterpart and is not. It's just a lot of plot twists here. That's all I can say. Some people thought that they had met their person and, and you haven't met them. Some people thought that it was right for you to cancel your person out and God is saying, no, that's your person. And no matter what you say or do, you're going to be with that person. It's just, it's different for everyone. But there's a shift happening where you're going to know the truth. It's going to be very clear who your soul is tied to and you're going to know based on their evolution. Their spiritual evolution. I'm not talking about their money, their looks, how popular they are. No. Judging from the evolution of their soul, you're going to know who your person is. If you're wondering who is your person, when you, you're going to recognize them by how much their soul has evolved and how their soul is truly a vibrational match for yours. And the, keep in mind, you can be totally opposite from this person. On a surface, on a soul level, you and this person are nearly identical. You have to have the price of love and mirrored souls. Yeah. <laughs> Yin and Yang. This is your spiritual other half. Your souls are tied together. And the price of love, are you willing to make an investment when it comes to love? Are you ready to pay the toll? And for a lot of people, this means, like I said before with the masculines, are you ready and are you willing to actually do the healing work? Are you willing to leave everything behind that was toxic and karmic to go towards the feminine? The feminine who has the fertile soil where your seed can be planted and can have a harvest and a legacy, what price are you willing to pay for true love? And it's going to be very shocking to a lot of people who feel like their entire journey has been about a twin flame and you've been heavily invested in one particular person. And I feel like God is about to come in and show you like, no, <laughs> it's time for a course correction. I'm not saying that a lot of you, like, you don't know your person. That's between you and God. I'm not, I can't tell you who your person is or isn't. 
But what I'm seeing here in the energy is that for a lot of people, because of your own shift in consciousness and awareness, how can I say that? Who you, who you perceive now as a vibrational match for you is going to change. Therefore, who you felt was your person, going back to the feelings, like I said, feelings will lie to you. How you feel about things now is going to change because your logic is changing. I hope you're following me. You're going to start ghosting a lot of people in situations that bring any type of disharmony to your life. Some of you are going to realize, I'm looking here at this ghosting card. Hmm. You're about to come out of this phase of dealing with people who ghost you. Or you're, it's time for you to stop ghosting people. Some of you have people in your life. Whenever they focus on something. Because here money and finances is here. When they focus on money, career, finances, their family, whatever. They ghost you. You can't have anything tangible with a person that's ghosting you. you can't, that's what I'm saying. You can't build. So again, your logic is what's very key now. And you choosing the, the right person for you. How can you build with somebody that's never present? So again, even those people who feel like you have these soul ties. All soul ties are not good soul ties. Some of you, your soul is tied up to somebody that is not actually destined to go further on this journey with you. You need to leave them where they are. Because this is someone for a lot of you that ghost you. They're, they're in and out. And you'll have to judge when they come back in, has their soul evolved? For some of you, it hasn't. Some of you, you can meet a brand new person in your life. And you'll just know instantly. Morals, values on a soul level, you're the same. They have the same beliefs about legacy building is you. There's no confusion. You will be their main attraction. So you're going to go from people ghosting you when they want to focus on fame, money, fortune, their family or whatever to you being in a connection with someone that sees you as their main attraction. When someone sees you as their main attraction, that means that they are devoted to you. And whatever the two of you are, are destined to do together. Getting to know each other. Wow. So for a lot of you, this is someone new. Or someone is re-entering your life. And you're going to get to know each other like you just met. Because if this is someone coming back into your life again, because the souls have evolved, you're going to have to treat them as a new person. They're not who you knew them as before, and you're not who you were before. So you would have to completely start over, like at square one. Law of attraction, exactly. You're attracting security in your life now. Because most likely you're secure at your set with yourself. Warm embrace and love at first sight. You're going to know this person when they come to you. You're going to know them by the way they look at you, by the way it feels. You're just going to know. Law of attraction. You're going to know they, this, the higher and the high priestess have come together. Spiritually, you're aligned. This doesn't have anything to do with physical bodies, wands, passion, sex. That's not what's important here. It's what is your spiritual mission and purpose together. And when they see you and you see them or you reconnect or however this goes, you're going to know, okay, we can do this together. This is what people, you know, kingdoms. This is your God or dance, but this is who God is saying. I want you to build this life and create certain things with this person. I tied your souls together. 
This is amazing, honestly, because you're attracting someone with the law of attraction. You're manifesting your perfect match. And this is going to lead to a very secure type of love. It's being secured by the divine. It's approved by God, your angels, your guides, your ancestors, as well as this other person. But it's going to be so much security here. And I feel like that's how you're going to know when it's real. You feel secure in it. You, you know this person isn't going to ghost you. You know that if your soul... If you connect with this person on any type of level, especially intimacy, you don't have to worry about your soul being tied to a bunch of stuff that's going to set you back or, or hurt you or harm you. There's no hurt or harm or disharmony in this connection. And for some of you who are meant to be with somebody from your past, it may be difficult for you to see this person in a new light, but you're going to have to try to give it a shot. But if you've given something from the past a shot, or even if you know that person comes back and you just cannot trust them, it's nothing wrong now with you moving forward. Because the type of connection, if you're a high priest or a hierophant, the kind of connections that are going to enter your life, they're always going to be very high level spiritual connections anyway. That's why oftentimes when people find themselves connected with a, like a, an actual counterpart, it, it seems like it's love at first sight. Your soul recognizes that person. You're on the same energetic frequency and vibration. That's why those connections, oftentimes, they move fast. But this time, even if you're in a situation that moves fast, you're not thinking with, you're, you're not making decisions based solely on emotions. You're making decisions now with your with actual wisdom and discernment. Which is still being very intuitive, but to me, being emotional and being intuitive is not the same. 